Good morning and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. We're certainly glad to have you today. And as always, we want to thank BTC Fiber for hosting our program. And you can see our interviews on BTC Fiber's YouTube page as well as BTC Fiber's cable channel 18. Also, we want to thank our sponsor, Needful Things General Store, right there on Highway 127 as you go towards Pipeville, just past the Bethel Church of Christ there on the left side of the road. And uh, go up there and see Kim. You might find some things you need, and you might find some things you don't need, but you just want them anyway. So go by and check them out. Today we have Joy Evans, and he's with Tennessee Farm Bureau uh, agent here in Sequatchie County. Yes, Joy, sir. it's good to have you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Uh, I appreciate you being here. First, uh, I like to always try to get a little background on folks. So let me get a little background on you and what what got you to where you are. Okay. Um, well, I am from uh, Smith County. Grew up in a little community called Pleasant Shade. Um, grew up on a tobacco farm. Lived on a tobacco farm all my life. Um, went to school at Tennessee Tech and uh, got a degree in agriculture. Um, through that department, um, Farm Bureau kind of goes in and recruits and, and um, I met uh, one of their regional men and um, they um, uh, you know, offered me a, a position um, after I uh, graduated from Tech, and um, I started with um, uh, Farm Bureau in Hartsville, Tennessee, uh -huh. in 2003. Worked there for a couple of years. Um, moved to Sparta. Uh, worked for Farm Bureau in Sparta for six or seven years, and then uh, the position came open in Sequatchie County. And uh, my wife, who um, actually met at Tennessee Tech, uh, is a South Pittsburgh native. So we felt Sequatchie County was a good fit for us and a good place to raise our family. Uh -huh. And uh, so we moved here in 2011. And we've wow. been, been here ever since. Yes, sir. 12 years. Yes, sir. Wow, that's, I didn't realize it'd been that long. Yes, sir. It goes, goes by fast. Yeah, it sure does. I've been with Farm Bureau for 20 years. Um, this year is my 20th year. Wow. Yep. Makes you feel old. Doesn't yes, it? sir. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well, that's good that the uh, Farm Bureau goes into the ag departments like that. Yes, sir. Because it helps to have a little background when you're working, especially with farmers. Yes, sir. And, and, and their crops. Yes, sir. And, uh, of course, where you're from, Smith County, there's a lot of tobacco farms over there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's all I, that's all I ever knew uh, <laughs> was, was a tobacco crop until I was about 21 or 22 years old. So, yeah. Well, that, that's neat. And uh, now let's talk about Farm Bureau for just a minute. Okay. Uh, as we was discussing earlier, um, a lot of people, when they think of the name Farm Bureau, they think about uh, insurance and things for farms yes, and sir. farmers. Yes, sir. But y'all do a lot more than just farmers. We do. We do. Uh, farm The Farm Bureau organization was started um, kind of as a a uh, lobbying organization, you know, to help rural communities. Um, they started an uh, insurance company and it was to get affordable insurance for, for farmers and for farming families. That's evolved over the years. Um, we are now um, the largest uh, rider of home and auto insurance wow. and life insurance in the state of, in the state of Tennessee. Um, we're a single state company. Um, it, we sell home insurance, auto insurance, boat insurance, business insurance, life insurance, health insurance, and it's for anyone. There's no requirement of agriculture. Now we do um, have really good products and really good rates for uh, the people in the agriculture community. Right, right. But a lot of companies, you know, that's our niche. So so we can. Uh, that's kind of what we, our target market, I guess you would say. Right. Um, but now um, we are, we write home and auto and life and boat and health for for anyone. But you'd know more uh, concerning the farmers. You're, like you said, that's your niche. So you mm -hmm. know more about some of their concerns. Sure. Some of their needs and desires. Yes, sir. That they would have as opposed uh, where I'm not a farmer. Sure. I wouldn't know the day-to-day -day, yes, uh, needs of a farmer. Yes, sir. That's correct. 
Well, that's good that they have a, a voice. As you mm -hmm. said, it started out as basically a voice for them. Correct. And uh, uh, and that and that's a good thing because everybody needs a voice. Yes, sir. Because uh, there's some cases where people just don't, they're, they're too small to have a voice. Correct. And they get overlooked a lot of times. Yes, sir. That's correct. Well, um, <clears throat> now, you, do you, um, do y'all do, uh, or did I just think of this uh, off, the, off the top of my head? Do y'all do tax services for... Uh, uh, folks as well yes sir that's a good uh, I'm glad you brought that up uh, we've uh, we've got a tax service our tax practitioner his name is Mark Thompson and he's uh, he's in the office obviously through tax season but now he's a he's a, uh, a resource for our members year-round uh -huh. um, he he has an office in our building here in, here in Dunlap um, but he's you can reach him by phone or by email uh, year round and he is if, if anyone's looking for for a tax professional he's a good guy and he's really sharp and um, he's a real resource uh, for our members here in Sequatchie County I know a lot of people and sometimes some, uh, my wife and I've done this ourselves we go online do it mm -hmm. through the online services but a lot of times uh, the reason you need a tax uh, mm -hmm. person it's because they all they know all the new rules they and do. regulations mm -hmm. and they're up to date on where you might miss something mm -hmm. and leave something out sure uh, they would say hey we, we need to include this yes sir you know? mm -hmm. yeah. he's good and and uh, you know we we have a lot of people that are using him now that may have been using another service and they're they're surprised one by his costs are, are low and two extra money that he's helping them get back yeah well, that's good because everybody needs extra money. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> we both do. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, um, um, now, um, now your customer base, I know mm -hmm. you have quite a bit because mm -hmm. uh, your office has actually over the years grown quite it a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just Sequatchie County people, is it? It's not. Um, now, we're primarily uh, Sequatchie County. Right. Um, if if you know, someone calls from a, a surrounding county, we let them know, hey, there's a Farm Bureau office in your county, and here's the agent, here's the contact number. Uh, but if but if they want to use our office, we, we can absolutely, we can write anywhere in the state. Um, you know, if, if there's a, a reason, a, a contact through our office. In other words, somebody might uh, know you sure. or a friend sure. might suggest absolutely. Say, hey, I know this guy, go by and check it out. Absolutely, and now with our technology, um, you can do pretty much anything online and over the phone and you don't have to come to that brick and mortar office the way you used to. Yeah, yeah. Technology is a good thing. Yes, sir. Most days. Most <laughs> days, yes, sir. Except when it doesn't work. That's right, yes, sir. <laughs> well, um, um, do y'all do you have, like you mentioned technology, do y'all have a social media presence online? We do, we do. Uh, the The home office um, runs a really good social media campaign. Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube. Um, but uh, we have a local Facebook page, Sequatchie County Farm Bureau Insurance on Facebook. And um, that's just our local page. Now, uh, <clears throat> when we talk about farmers, um, does the farm have to be a certain size, or can it be a smaller farm? Or oh no, we 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 have tons of. Um, I mean, we have some of the bigger farms in the state, um, and then we've got hobby farms, and and you know maybe you've got a um, a barn that you need some coverage on, or some equipment you need some coverage on, or some liability for some animals. One of the new things that we're seeing, honestly, quite a bit, um, are people getting into agritainment and Airbnb. Uh -huh. And, you know, they have a, a, a residence on their farm and people come stay the weekend and then they, you know, see the animals on the farm and stuff like that. And, and we've got policies that we've built just for that. Well, there's more and more of those right there here are. in Sequatchie County. There are. We, just, just my office, I can think of probably a dozen customers that I have that have Airbnbs. And uh, that's kind of neat because when I've interviewed some of those same people, mm -hmm. and uh, it's neat to see that because uh, a lot of them are different. Some of them mm -hmm. have, that, have different animals. Yes, sir. And mm -hmm. so you, you might go to one and see if you, mm -hmm. certain animals, then go to another and they have totally different animals. Yes, sir. That's correct. 
And you mentioned uh, like uh, insurance for for the animals and mm -hmm. livestock, because especially if you're dealing with uh, especially cattle sure. or sure. horses, mm -hmm. uh, you know that you can't can't just go out and buy one. Sure, that's right. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it, uh, it costs you a yes, butter too. <laughs> yes, sir. So that's something that. Uh, uh, if you had uh, quite a bit, you'd want mm -hmm. that coverage. That's correct. Yeah, we do the livestock coverage, and you, you know, um, you can have a loss, a lightning loss, could right. hit multiple head or uh, vehicle. You know, get out on the highway and the vehicle could hit one. So, yeah, and so a lot of people, I thought, uh, probably that maybe s smaller farmers don't think about that sure. as much, but the larger farmers, sure. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, that's correct. Because when you have a hundred or more head of cattle, mm -hmm. or you know, and that's investment. That's correct. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you want to take care of that investment. Yep. That's just right. like you would take care of your house. Correct. Yes, sir. Because you can't just go out and buy a new house every day. That's <laughs> correct. Yes, sir. So that, well, that's kind of neat. Um, because um, I know we have, uh, actually, uh, there's more farmers here than people realize. And some of those farms are century farms. They so they've are. been around a while. Mm -hmm. So that keeps, uh, uh, I mean, you see the bigger ones because you can see the big fields and everything, mm -hmm. but then you don't see the ones maybe on the back road or here and there. That's correct. And Sequatchie County has a special place with the Farm Bureau. Um, Mr. Flavis Barker was uh -huh. the state president for maybe three terms uh, through the late 90s and, and the early part of the 2000s. And um, he, uh, he was actually recognized at the last convention uh, the hundred years of Farm Bureau, and uh, he was recognized, and they gave him a gun, and it was really, really nice, really special. Um, that he's, um, I mean, he's um, a big part of building that organization. Right, and he's been around for mm -hmm. yes, know, sir, and do, and does a good job here. Yes, he, sir. Even still at his age, he's still bit active. Yes, sir. Absolutely, still comes to our board meetings. Does he really? Yes, sir. Wow, that's interesting because I know he's been a, a big man. Here. Yes, sir. Um, um, well, how do folks, uh, I know that your office is just right mm -hmm. up the road, but mm -hmm. uh, how do they get in touch with you? And then just call or the yeah, uh, Facebook? Yeah, uh, we're Monday through Friday, uh, 8 to 4.30. Um, our phone number is 949-2197. Uh, uh, so that's our office hours. Um, but obviously our customer service home office line uh, it will roll to that if, if no one's available and uh, that's um, that's a 24-hour customer service line um, you can reach out through the Facebook page uh, you can go online at www.fbitn.com and that'll link right to us as well um, so we're 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 happy to respond uh, to any whatever however you, pref you prefer to communicate uh -huh. and we have customers that are have moved in here over the past few years with this influx uh -huh. and uh, you know we've got some customers we've never met in person um, uh -huh. you know we did everything on over the phone and online and docu signed all the documents and uh, so you know it's different than it used to be where you had to come in and sign and pay uh -huh. and, well and as you mentioned there we do have a lot of new people moving into mm -hmm. the uh, Sequatchie County in the valley even. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess if they if they had Farm Bureau or mm -hmm. another even another insurance agent mm -hmm. uh, uh, from another state, mm -hmm. they could always just like you said Absolutely. call and get all that straight away. Cause, yes, sir. Because that's important. You want to get all that. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away. Yes, sir. Because you don't want to be uncovered. That's correct. And uh, well, that, that's good. Now your staff. I know you um, you have quite a few staff members, right? I, I do. Uh, myself and uh, Rhea Huth are the two agents. And uh, Rhea's wonderful. She's a veteran, um, 20 years experience. Uh, Patty Harvey is a, um, a customer service kind of office manager. Um, she's 20 plus years experience. Uh, Vicki Youngblood, uh, she's customer service. She's probably got eight years experience. Um, um, Mark Thompson is, uh, of course, our tax professional, um, and uh, um, Patty also handles health insurance. So, so okay. Yep. Yep. We've got some part-time people that are kind of in and out, um, but uh, right, that's our full-time staff. And uh, the health insurance, I guess that's a pretty big thing now. It is. It is, and I can't speak a lot to that. That's, you know, Patty's uh she handles that but i do know that um, our medicare supplement plan is very popular 
And um, you sh anyone shopping during open enrollment should give her a call. Okay, because I know, uh, I, I, of course, I'm a little older than you are. Yes, sir. So I get those all the time. Uh -huh. the invitations for all these uh, uh, medical uh, policies mm -hmm. and everything. Yes, sir. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have sure. through the schools. Sure. But, uh, but uh, you know, you never know. You just check them out and see. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And Farm Bureau Health Plans is, you know, it's administered out of Columbia with the rest of our uh policies and and um you know local local people to talk to and claims is local and so give them a call well that's the neat thing is if it's local mm -hmm. and i think that's uh, good that of course farm bureau probably has a uh, office in every county we do in multiple offices in most uh yeah. there's 95 counties and i want to think we've got 250 offices now um, going to get somewhere like Hamilton, and they've got eight or ten offices. You know, Davidson, Rutherford, Williamson. Yeah, all you know, the bigger counties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, that's good because you can have, like, say, the hometown. You Correct. Right there, and you 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 know the people. Yes, sir. You don't. Uh, it's not like they're just a unknown person. Yes, sir. Just a number. Absolutely. They're a person. Mm -hmm. And when they need you, they they. Absolutely, and you know, you want to always, um, you know, friends and neighbors. You, you know, you want to go that extra mile. Right, because that, that way people look at you as not not just an insurance agent, but sure. as a person, Absolutely. as a friend. Yes, sir. And that, that's uh, a lot of times that's more important. I agree, a hundred percent. Yes, sir. Because you know, that way they can uh, feel like they can trust you and talk mm -hmm. to you, and and then they might have some true concerns sure. about their stuff, and they may need some mm -hmm. instruction on what which way to go. That's correct, and and you know I've told people for years, uh, you know we we're not the electric company you don't have to pay it we know you can shop and um so you know we want you to know that we're we're there to to you know answer questions solve problems um try to do the best we can do with your rate um at least give you some options yeah and um you know that's one thing i think we've got on a lot of the larger national brands is is our entire staff is invested here in the community involved in the community and have families in the community right because i i see them uh talking about ria mm -hmm. and patty and sure. others i see them out yes sir you know from time mm -hmm. to time at, at several events absolutely yes sir so and that and that's the key is being involved locally yes sir and that way people can recognize you sure and they'll say oh i know them you yes know? sir and i run into people of course in my business, I run into yeah. people all the time. Yes, sir. But it's it's a good thing because you feel like they're friends. Yes, know, sir. And you can call them anytime. Mm -hmm. Well, let's <clears throat> now we've talked. As, before we get any further, is there anything else on the insurance business you want to talk about? No, yeah. um, I appreciate you you having me on and 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 asking those questions. Um, you know, we um, um, we we got a office on the main road out here but um where you can reach us you know 24 hours a day and and we'll you know do our best to try to to try to help any way we can well i know um uh y'all are very involved locally as far as being involved in community mm -hmm. events mm -hmm. i know you help in football yes, program sir. Mm -hmm. and uh, that's a big key yes sir i mean uh, to have people out there involved yes sir so see not only as an not as an agent, but just someone sure. who's out there involved. As sure, a parent. Rhea is very involved in the community. She serves on several boards and committees. Patty as well. Um, I have uh, been. In, I've had kids go through the school system, and and um, my wife's a teacher, and so I've helped with youth football, basketball, baseball since my kids were little. Um, but um, you know, I. It's a love and uh, and a passion of mine to help with the schools and and we're blessed here with such a good school system, right? And a good um, school board and you know it's it's a pleasure to to help support a group of people that love what they're putting in so much as well, right? Well, I know uh, you know people need to understand a lot of times uh, a lot of this work that goes on throughout the county and city it's volunteer 100 percent, absolutely you know, it's not uh, uh paid you know i know you help have helped coach some mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. but it's on a volunteer basis that's correct you mm -hmm. weren't getting paid so. no sir but you probably still got chewed out every <laughs> <time>. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's part of it too. Yeah. That's part of it too. But uh, it's a good thing that people can get involved and volunteer because mm -hmm. they need to find things that uh, help. That's what helps the community is people getting it involved. It does. It does. And we've got a wonderful community. Uh, you know, my wife and I have lived on a handful of different places. And, um, you know, we have really, uh, you know, made a home here. And, and it's been wonderful for my kids. Um, you know, I've grown up in this community and, and um, you know, we saw really quick this is where we wanted them to grow up. Yeah. Well, in, uh, in Farm Bureau, do you, um, like if uh, they contact you today and say, hey, we need you to go, do you have to move or? Oh, no, no, something? no. I mean, you know, with any corporate structure, you know, there's changes in moves and, and, and opportunities, but you do not, no, sir. Um, you know, and, and they're very family oriented uh, company, very faith based company, and um, you know their goal is is to is to um, our our careers. They want our families to be first. Oh, that's good. Yes, sir. Not a lot of companies are that way. Yes, sir. This is uh, it's it's a wonderful company. Uh, you know, uh, could text the CEO right now and um, ask a question and, and um, anytime you're with the group, you know, there's prayer before the meal and um, just a wonderful organization that puts their employees and their customers first every time. Well, that's good. I know that, that makes it easier to go to work every time. Absolutely. Then. Yes, sir. Because you know you can enjoy and have fun. Correct. Yep. Not worry about uh, somebody going to beat you over the head. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But it's also nice that, as you mentioned, you can contact the CEO, mm -hmm. and uh, not everybody can do that. That's with correct. Their, with their uh, jobs, mm -hmm. and this way you you have a more uh, friendly relationship. Sure. He probably he probably knows your name. Yes, sir, absolutely. And uh, mm -hmm. so that that means a lot too when they know your name. Yep. And uh, yep. So, uh, yep, that always helps. Uh, makes you uh, keeps you on your toes. Sure, but, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it also uh, lets you know that makes you feel better. It does. It does, and. And, uh, you know, you consider them friends and they consider you a friend and they're always open to honest conversation and they want to know when they see you, hey, what's going on, what's working, what's not working. Um, and they truly want to know. Well, that's, uh, that's just being a good company. Yes, sir. Because so mm -hmm. a lot of times when you're uh, in the home office, mm -hmm. you don't always know or what's going on or right. maybe what's not working, what is right. working. You don't always know. Sure. And you need somebody to say, hey, this is not working. We need to change this. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of companies are uh, acceptable to that. Yes, sir. We're blessed. We have a really good leadership team, and and, um, and they're always open to conversation. Well, that, that's good to hear. Uh, that's good to know. Yes, sir. And uh, would you advise anybody that was maybe wanting to get into uh, this business to get into it? Absolutely. And it's interesting that you mentioned that. Um, you know, with the growth in Tennessee, uh, our company's growing and uh, there's opportunities every day. Um, you can go to their website and, and there's like career opportunities and feel free to call me um, and I can steer you in the right uh, direction. Um, it's a wonderful company that, um, you know, expects, you know, hard work and, and character and, and treating customers right. And if you follow those guidelines, you know, they're wonderful to advance with. And do uh, do you have to do the continuing ed like We do. We do. I've actually got something on my desk right now uh, that I've got to complete by the end of the month. It's every two years you have to do renew your license and do a continuing education online course. So, Yeah. I always like that. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just something you have to do. It is. Yep. Was there anything we've left out that you might want to mention? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, appreciate you. Appreciate all the work you do in the community and, and, and with football and um, programs like this. And, um, you know, you're an asset to the, to the community. Well, thank so you. thank you for that. everything you do. All right. Well, thank you, Joy. Appreciate yeah. it. Yes, sir. Thank you. And again, you can see our program on BTC Fibers YouTube page as well as BTC Fibers Cable Channel 18. And remember, Needful Things General Store on Highway 127. Go by and check them out. So until next time, have a great day. Hey, everybody. This is Glenn Edison from Valley Views. We appreciate you watching our shows. And we would like for you to like, share, and follow us on Facebook, as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page.